It's the Damon and you now watching Damon Time with Dutch. On today's episode of Prison Stories Uncut, we over East Baltimore in them real trenches with it, man. But before I hop off in the storytelling mode, I want to send a big shout out to the sister Shana Gilchrist. This sister sent her hard earned money in, blessed the channel through Cash App. Can't appreciate you enough, sister. Just stay locked in our goddess, Shana Gilchrist. Now that we got that out the way, let's get it. No more than 15 feet away from him stood Jamika and Kamika side by side, ass naked. He looking in disbelief. This his best friend in the world, Mikey wife. He couldn't tell him apart, so he hurry up, sat down at the table, put his drinks down. Confused, like, I know Mikey went to hang around here like that. But then he invited him down there. Shit that made sense, wasn't adding up. So he eye hustling, he watching him. One of the twins walked right past him, ass naked. He put his head down. But when she got past him, he put his head up and looked. And he noticed she had Jamaica written in cursive, tattooed in cursive on her left ass cheek. That's when his eyes shot over at the other twin. Because he knew that one was Mikey's wife, Kamika. But this can't be her. Because she was all up in some light-skinned, chubby nigga face. Nigga was throwing money all over Slapping her all on her head. So Odell get to looking around for Mike. He like, where the fuck he at? And the club even packed even more now. He don't see him nowhere. He watching this chubby nigga rub his man wife all over her ass. Whispering all in her ear. And she's sniggling and giggling. Just a smiling. So after the birthday bash ended and the club was about to close. On Odell way out. He watched Kamika leave out with a big ass black trash bag full of money and the light skinned chubby nigga. She hopped in the truck with him. Jamaica rolled out one of the Washington Wizard niggas. Odell peeped the whole shit. He like, man, I don't know where Mikey at, but he ain't gonna believe this. This shit is unreal. But anyway, pulling up in front of the Holiday Inn, park, hop out, they go in, and the Kamika get a room. She was filling the drink, but she knew what she was doing was wrong. But this nigga just gave her 25 bands. The most money she ever seen in her life. And she was turned on by that shit. So she just blocked that guilty conscience out with the liquor. But anyway, she come in the room, sit down on the bed. Fat Sammy cut the TV on and dipped off in the bathroom. He locked the door, go in his knapsack, break out the coat, do a couple lines, and pop the Viagra. While he and that bitch playing with his nose, Kamika take a trench coat off and hang it up behind the door. Drunk off the honey jack in that two peas lingerie, looking as good as she felt. But anyway, Fat Sammy come up out the bathroom, nose red as Rudolph the Red Nose Rain did. He hides Fat Charles' ass. Soon as he see Kamika in that G-string, he get to coming up out his clothes. He walks straight up on her with his manhood out. They get to kiss him. He got her ass cuffed. He reach over, split the light switch off, and lay her down on the bed. She don't even know. He done put about three lines of coke in him. And pop the vibe. Needless to say, he fucked her for hours. I'm talking about hey, that shit sore the next morning. When he dropped her off at the house, Jamaica dude pulled up right next to him. She hopped out the Bentley. The nigga from the Washington Wizards head. These bitches, they come in the house. They both got a trash bag full of earnings from the night before. They done been out fucking. They ain't even count the money yet. But anyway, meanwhile, down at the police station, two white detectives sat across the table from Mikey in the interrogation room. What it is, it's